guys. Hope you are doing well this, uh, oh, what is today? <laughs> Monday morning, <laughs> July 11th. This morning in our devotional, it says the right thing to do. I know it's terrible when you forget what day it is, <laughs> but in our devotional, it says the right thing to do. Job chapter 34, verse 12. Truly, God will not do wrong. The Almighty will not twist justice. Psalm chapter 106, verse 3. Blessed are they who observe justice, who do righteousness at all times. First Chronicles chapter 16, verse 14. He is the Lord our God. His justice is seen throughout the land. Jeremiah chapter 12, verse 1. The Lord, Lord, you always give me justice when I bring a case before you. Psalm chapter 11, verse 7. The righteous Lord loves justice. The virtuous will see his face. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 20. Follow justice and justice alone so that you may live and possess the land the Lord your God has given you. Psalm chapter 94, verse 14 and 15. The Lord will not reject his people. He will never forsake his inheritance. Judgment will again be founded on righteousness, and all the upright in heart will follow it. Psalm chapter 119, verse 142. Your justice is eternal, and your in instructions are perfectly true. And at the bottom, it says, The breastplate of justice protects your most important organ, your heart. The heart is where our thoughts and actions originate. Justice heals. It creates a path of hope for people. Justice wants to take you further and higher than where you are currently. Justice will take you from fear to hope, from revenge to reconciliation, and from hatred to forgiveness. Righteousness is a godly characteristic that he gives his children who received righteousness in Christ. This is a great gift that you can share with others. So, that is a good devotional this morning. Especially, what comes to mind is this about, I'm going to go there, <laughs> about abortion. That comes to mind with this devotional. Because, I'm going to say it guys. Uh, if you are if you are for a, a for abortion for um for killing a baby I'm just going to say it for killing a baby are if you are for abortions and killing a baby that is murder, guys. I mean, you can call me whatever you want. I really, I really don't care. I don't care. But truth is truth. That is, that is murder. And that is not right in God's eyes. That is not right in God's eyes. And God will, he will get justice for it. He will. And I give you I give you a warning. If you're for abortion, if you think abortion is okay, uh, search your heart. Uh, I I beg you to talk to God about it. Let him open your eyes about it. I mean but he will get justice for everything. For everything. He will get justice for. Uh, and killing babies is one thing he will get justice for. Um, another scene going on in this nation is homosexuality. 
men marrying men and women marrying women. That is clearly an abomination to God. It is in scripture that it is an abomination. And I, again, people say, oh no, uh, God is about love and all this. Yeah, true. God, do God does love us. However, he hates sin. And that is sin. And I, I'm telling you, go read Romans uh, chapter 1. Uh, I think it's like starting at verse 18 on. Go read that. And I pray that it opens your eyes if you think, if you think um, homosexuality is okay. You will get justice for it. God's justice will rain down on this country. And I say that as a warning. I say it as a warning. I, I believe that with everything in me. I've had dreams about it and everything. And you always hear. I know I'm kind of getting off topic. But it, well, his justice will rain down on this, on this country for its sins. Um, you hear people say. You hear people say. That they've had dreams of bombs coming down and everything. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I believe that. I mean, but I, I have a problem telling people things that I have not personally found in scripture. And I hear people say, when the bombs come down, we go up. Meaning, rapture's going to happen. Two things I have an issue with, with that. One is God's judgment has fell on other nations and the rapture didn't happen then. Now, I'm not saying the rapture is not going to happen. I'm just saying what makes a person think that America is um, so great with all these sins in it, so great that God is going to... Have the rapture to happen just because something bad judgment has fallen on the U.S. Um, I, I haven't found that in scripture. In fact, I haven't found the U.S. in scripture. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I think some Christians have gotten so high-minded that they are great and America is so great and everything. But America is full of sins and her stench has reached heaven. And judgment is coming. Judgment is coming. But um, the other issue that I have with that, I know I said those two. The other issue I have with that is nowhere in scripture have I found that the rapture is going to happen when judgment falls upon a country. I haven't found it. I mean, if you have found a scripture that says judgment is going, or uh, the rapture is going to happen when judgment falls on a country, hey, I'll let me know because I haven't found it. So I have an issue with saying, they, uh, I have an issue with people who says things that is not in scripture. And me personally, I can't, I can't do it. I can't say that things are going to happen if I can't find it in scripture. I, I can't say, uh, it's a whole nother topic. I won't get into it, but, <laughs> but stick to my devo to the devotional this morning. The right thing to do. Always do the right thing. Okay. Because judgment will fall. Uh, judgment will come. And in some way, shape, form, it may not come the next hour, day, or month, but it will come. God is a just God. You can't continue in sin and expect to be, um, expect sin to run rampant. I mean, it didn't happen with Noah. It didn't happen with Lot. Uh, and I believe we're worse. I, I believe we are worse. I mean, all kinds of filth. Like I said, 
the sins of this nation has wretched the nostrils of God. I do believe that with everything in me. But I love you guys. And I'm not saying that something's going to happen soon or anything to this nation. I'm just saying it is going to happen. It, it is. I mean, look at Israel itself. How many times has judgment failed there? Think about that. Go back in the Bible and check it out. How many times was Israel destroyed as a nation? Hmm. And Israel is God's chosen people. So, give you something to meditate on today. <laughs> but I love you guys very, very much. As always, give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. Like, share, and subscribe. Uh, join me on the Disciple Server. And if I don't see you in the next video, I hope to see you in heaven. And I do, I do hope all these people are right. And we will be raptured uh, soon. I, I hope that that's my hope but I can't say it so watch who you listen to all right if it's not scriptural don't take it to heart guys okay love you bye guys